in my think he's been in hot shadow for quite some time. And uh, hopefully he'll get it all together and bring the body that cast the shadow into the ring this time. What you guys gonna do if you tear a leg, a, a ligament, and it's all over? Running, set, running, 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 run my pop, what you gonna do with, with, with your plane? Right. See what I'm saying? Right. right. And, and I used to tell Timmy, Prince Charles, and all that. Timmy yeah. Witherspoon, sir, former world two-times heavyweight champion, NABF and USBA champion, cleaned up the heavyweight division, sir. Prince Charles Williams, light heavyweight champion with maybe 11 title defenses. Is this who we talking about, sir? Because you just can't say Timmy and, and Prince Charles and expect the neophytes of this channel or young boxing fans to know who the hell you're talking about mm -hmm. when you say Timmy and when you say Prince Charles, sir. You have to clarify. I'm going to clarify. The former two-time Harry Jam from South Carolina. Turbo Tim with us. Okay. Come on, Very useful job. Okay, that's more like it, sir. We got Rob against Larry. Strategy. So well played by both corners. It's almost like the score of the fight. That was a tough fight, sir. It was tight, but I think Larry outworked him in the uh, going down the stretch. Well, 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 going down the stretch. I'm not saying that Tim wasn't in his ass. I'm sir. saying, what did you say? I'm right there at ring. Sir, back. sir. Wait, I'm in the corner with Slim Robson. Sir, but you, sir, have a biased look. It was no way for you to look at that fight and see what was going on. Now, keep in all mind. The judges, excuse me, sir. All the judges. Excuse me, sir, you've been talking for the half an hour street. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and say Now, let me just... You got all this boxing knowledge. No, I was me, in this thing before you was born. I mean, no go doubt, ahead. sir. All I'm saying is this, sir. All I'm saying is this, sir. I, when I was watching that fight at Knox's Barbershop, sir, when it took place, I believe it was 80, 85, sir. I believe it was 85, 86. But I was in Knox's Barbershop watching that fight, sir. And I, too, you doing terrible... Years, you, 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 you three years... Past the fight. Well, whatever. The fight was in 83. Whatever. The, the point that I'm making, sir, is I too throw a terrible Tim Spoon. Tim Weatherspoon won that fight that day. And for the longest time, I thought Tim won that fight. However, due to the magic of YouTube and videos, mm -hmm. that fight, I watched that fight maybe about 15 mm -hmm. times. It's one of my favorite fights to watch. And with that said, sir, mm -hmm. I think Larry outworked Tim. To win the fight, just like initially, I thought that Sugar Ray, I mean Marvin Hagler, beat Sugar Ray Leonard, sir. Mm -hmm. However, after watching the fight on numerous occasions, sir, I'm I had to concede that Terrible Tim Witherspoon and Marvin Hagler lost, sir. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if you say he lost, he lost. But I'm telling you what the judges think. Okay, sir. And I guess you say. Carter two winning didn't win two years later against Larry. There's nothing wrong with his left. He is not jabbing. Larry Holmes at the beginning of this run. I'm gonna have to watch that fight, sir. I know it's I heard often heard that, sir, but I i honestly I've never seen that fight. Larry was made to order for Tim and Carl. He just barely just got by Ernie Shaver twice. Mm -hmm. So you have to. Yeah, I'm saying. Thanks, Jim. So, what I'm saying to you, bro, I want you to understand one thing. In those days, it's whoever that they wanted to win. It's like that now, Don sir. Don no, it's not it's like, like that, that now, now, sir. It's not to the magnitude because you don't have a promoter that, that have the whole heavyweight division in the contract. Yeah. So. If you don't have a promoter that got all the heavyweights, all the contenders, and all the champions, Don, Don, we are now, excuse me, sir, one life. second. I don't mean to interrupt. We are now over in New York City, the Big Apple, where it's quick to get your shit tackled. Enemies spit at you. Best friends kidnap you. Right. Okay, and sir, that's, go ahead. That's what you say. I don't know nothing about that. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. But, but what I do know is. I want to go uptown. Straight ahead. Straight? This will take us all the way up? Okay, that's where we going, That's what sir. you do. When you get to the next corner, make a left, and, and, and it'll take you straight up. We'll be going to Sylvia's? I don't know. We just rolling uptown, man. As, as we were saying. You can take Broadway in there. 
Broadway probably be crowded. But 8th Street or 9th Street? Or 8th Street or Jump Street or something, right? 8th Avenue takes you straight up town. Okay, well, I want to know. That's where we going to jump That's on. where the 20 and the, and the, and the, and the, and the 104 go. Sir, down. you said you were going to introduce me to uh, Aaron Superman Davis. Or, Those or, guys or, or, are not or Mitchell, around. Or Mitchell Blood Green, sir. So, Mitch Green? Mitch Green? Dennis Milton, sir. Mitch, Mitch Green is not around, and Aaron is closed on Monday and Tuesday. Alex Ramos, sir, wait a minute. Alex Ramos is, lives in California. I thought Alex was back in New York. Alex out in California. Alex Green got out of here. I said, "Fuck that." Yeah. Well, Alex had a stroke out there, and then he wound up hooking up with with this Eighth, lady. Eighth, right? You making a left to go uptown? Okay. Eighth Avenue goes up, and Seventh goes down. Okay. And once you get further up, then Broadway go up. Okay, yeah. We well, you don't want to mess with Broadway now. Yeah, it's, all, it's all about the same, man. So, yeah, man. Let's move it flow. So what I'm saying to you, man, you got to understand the ramifications of business part of this. And, 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 all, and how to deal with all the organization. That's why a lot of these guys deserve a shot, don't get a shot. Right. Because they don't have connection to the organization you put them in, in the right spot that's what I, I liked about DK if you were DK you, you, you could bet your life you were going to fight for the WBC yeah that was his that was they he had a nice connection with them guys and and they kept him in a position to do what needed to be done sir one of the things I want to ask you that I never heard no one ask you on these interviews sir and you've done a lot of them Jason Cross Xavier Porter right sir yeah, I did a quite a few of them. Sir, I never Don. heard anyone ask ask you how did you hook up with Don King, sir. I'm yet to hear that. I think this might be an exclusive. How yeah. did you meet Don King and hook up with Don King? Give it to me from the top well, to the bottom, sir. Well, DK, I was on the road with with Bobby Bland and Wilson Pickett, the late Wilson Pickett, the late Bobby Blue Band, doing security. So we did, Don had a nightclub in Cleveland. And we did the nightclub that he had when he first came home. Time out real quick, sir. Folks, for those of you who do not know, this is Leon Muhammad, former boxing trainer and uh, cut man, matchmaker, and former captain of uh, Temple Number 12 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. When I say Temple Number 12, I'm talking about the FOI. I'm talking about the Nation of Islam. And I said all that to say this, folks. If you were to look up maybe about 45 years ago, and Leon Muhammad was looking at you nine times out of 10. I just wanted to put that out there, sir. Well, well, what I will say, DK is one of a kind. See, DK come from the muck like us, he understand how to go. And so what happened was, Don Ellabum, I was doing business with him here and there, and he said, we got this guy Want, want us to do something with him. I said, who? He said, Cleveland, the number guy. I said, DK? He said, yeah. I said, get him on the phone. So we talked with the DK. And what happened was at that time, I was with, with Butch. We was with Joe. And, and Butch was the president. When Don came home. Now, when you say Joe, you say, you mean Joe Smoking, Frazier. smoking. The legendary late smoking Joe Frazier. Gotcha. By the way, of Buford, South Carolina. Gotcha. Um, we was over at top rank. So, and I left top rank, but I still helped Butch Yaka, which was the president over there, vice president over there, top rank, uh, under to chairman of the board, Robert Aaron, a.k.a. Bob Aaron, who was a Kennedy Raider, who was close to Bob and John Kennedy, the Justice Department. So what happened was, I said, listen, DK said, you come over here, I got you. But I still, see, I never locked myself in the DK, Butch, Duva, nobody. Because if one of them guys go out of the business, I'm locked in. If I'm getting everybody matching, work with everybody fighters, so I got four or five meal tickets. Right. So when you lock, I tell guys, when you, just like you do in the street, you're doing business with one guy, he, he hit ready for, you done. Because mm. you ain't got to connect. Mm -hmm. As the same way, with DK, I, 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 I was able to move and shake within the organizations and, and get a plug here and there. If I need a guy that I want to get a guy a shot, he was worthy of getting a shot at NABF or USBA when, when Bob Lee came in this in 83, 
because I had already been stabbed because DK had opened them doors for me. Now, Butch, Bob opened a lot of doors for me, but I just can deal with that corporate bullshit over there. Right, right. So I left. Went to First me. of all, Leon, you probably had a problem getting to work on time being a black man. You know, you probably was supposed to be there at, at 9 o'clock and you didn't get there till see, maybe 11.30. See, see, first of all, I went because I when I wanted to go and they didn't say nothing because I was I was with Ali. And you with Ali, Herbert Muhammad say, listen, you want to be with Ali, you got to take care of Ali's guys. And plus, they all feared Minister Jeremiah. But what, what I'm saying, and when you say I get on time, man, I'm living in Philadelphia. We're, we're in front of Trump International right now as we ride past. Matter of fact, the president or the former president, he's standing on the steps. Mr. President, how you doing, sir? I did vote for you so that you know. It's funny, yeah. So, but, but what I'm saying to you, when you look at it, Don was good for the game. No one in the history of the sport have ever did an eight world title fight in Atlantic City other than DK. No, there's no more rum in the jungle. It's no more thrill and vanilla. It's no more September to remember. It's no more glory hallelujah. It's no more judgment day. There's no more magnitude of extravaganza. No one did it the way DK did it. Am did all the show. He did all the great middleweight fights, but Am never had a heavyweight champion. Never.